New tonight, a Lehigh Acres man is fuming after a garbage truck driver reportedly beat his dog in front of his kids, leaving the animal with only one eye. Now, the dog was reportedly playing in the yard last Wednesday when it started chasing a passing garbage truck. And what happened next is causing a lot of controversy. Four in your corners, Deborah Suverain live in the studio to explain. Deborah. Patrick and Amy, the owner of the dog, says he simply wants justice for his pet. He says no matter what happened, animals should never be hit. Come on. Well, they still in disbelief because they can't see it. It's sewn shut, but the eye itself is gone, and I'm not sure if they're going to comprehend it anytime soon. The swelling makes it difficult to tell, but this nine-year-old pit Steak. bull is now living with just one eye. They took the eye out and they stitched the lenses together. It was an emergency operation like Clifford was. Green says was needed after a garbage truck driver hit his dog Buddy with a baseball bat. Just out of nowhere, the guy felt the need to attack my dog with my kids watching. Still, still don't understand it. Clifford Easy. says he was told the progressive waste solutions driver Easy. swung the bat in self-defense. He still had no right to get out of a truck and beat my dog with a bat. My dog didn't attack him. My dog didn't attack his helper. I reached out to Progressive Waste Solutions. A spokesperson Steak. told me their employees felt threatened. And as far as having a bat um, on his possession in the truck, is it normal for an employee to carry around a bat with them? We did not know, and I want to be clear, we do not condone the presence of bats on our trucks. She also said the company is sorry about what happened to Buddy, but they don't plan to discipline the employees involved. Now my dog has to suffer and live with one eye. I'm sure he'll maintain, but he had a great normal life with two eyes before this incident occurred. The Lee County Domestic Animal Services is investigating the issue. Live in studio, Deborah Souverain, Fox 4, in your corner. Okay, you've heard from both sides here. Deborah laying it out for you. Now we want to hear from you. Do you think the employee was justified in hitting the dog since he felt threatened? Do you think he should be held accountable or do you think the dog should have been restrained on a leash behind a fence? 239-206-FOX4. Email us at news at Fox 4 now. Lee County Sheriff